Hey guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Capricorn for November 2021. So keep in mind that this is a general message. Take what you feel resonates for you and disregard the rest of my friends. Go about your day, but know that no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you and your active free will, the choices you make and the steps you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom, it's personal power, and something that only you have because it lies at the tips of your fingers and at the soles of your feet, my friends. So use this power to do wisely as well as a big shout out to all my subscribers i love you love you love you from the bottom of my heart thank you for being here guys if you're new to my channel too welcome thanks for stopping by if you feel like this message resonates and you'd like to see more please hit subscribe join the journey with me i'd love to have you along the ride and guys if you do like this video help me out give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I truly appreciate your support. One last little bit of housekeeping as well is if you guys would like some more content outside of YouTube, I am on Instagram now and you can find me at grassroots underscore evolution underscore tarot and I will leave that in the description box just in case you know, you forget what it looks like. Okay, so before I get into the cards today, I am gonna take a moment to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, um, any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective as well I'm going to ask them to join us as well as my team of light I'm going to ask these guys to guide guard bless and protect myself this reading and any of you guys who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible delivering messages that are for the most far reaching of you however no second rate messages today just top shelf here we are only getting messages for the highest good of everybody watching okay so when I was starting to shuffle this, I the uh, July or January now, but July 2021 came into mind too. So some of you could be dealing with something that's been happening in July or something come like from July, but that's just for some of you. But I felt like it was important to say. Okay, so I have here the um, Keepers of the Light Oracle, and we're gonna get a little bit of spiritual advice for the month of November 2021. <laughs> whole lot and actually I was shuffling the heaven and earth tarot I'll show you the book because it's gorgeous and like half the deck fell on the floor so I think there's a lot of messages for you guys I feel like you guys might have a lot on your plate right now I'm gonna put those back because it's just too many but let's see what we get here spirit so again what I was gonna say here is time is fluid so whatever situation and we're picking up on it might literally be something you're going through now might be something from a past situation a past life just keep it how it resonates for you my friends and don't make it fit if it's not for you so let's get into the spirit what messages would you have Capricorn no that one was quick master Buddha with increased awareness and when I was pre shuffling this card as well came out so it says deep connection trust your inner voice for some of you sorry about the glare guys for some of you it may be really important to call on ascended master Buddha to ask him for help a little bit here this may also be if you do have a lot going on in your worlds right now we had um, the Justice in Reverse card flipped out two from the Heaven and Earth Tarot before half the deck fell on the floor. So there could be a situation where you feel like everything's against you, stuff is just not going your way. And I think this is where we really need to, um, for some of us, maybe practice some Buddhist principles and get ourselves a little bit more Zen, realize that there are things in our world that we can and cannot control. And if there is a situation in our world that is out of our hands, we need to do the best we can do to remember here increase our awareness on is this helping me to worry to fret to focus on this is it helping me is there anything I can do to help alleviate the pressure I heard the pressure on you so I'm gonna grab a message actually from the book spirits asking me to and we'll get here master Jesus master Jesus I just opened up to master Jesus master Buddha but for some of you um, master Jesus is a lot about forgiveness right and Christ consciousness and opening our hearts and coming to the world with an open heart and this is also about spreading joy and teaching other people to do the same for some of you that may be really important it is most important to trust your inner voice though I heard like it's it's not gonna help you if you're listening to all these other people or all this other background noise about what they feel about the situation what they think is gonna happen it may just be actually causing you more stress so here's where we also need to be aware of our actions aware of how other people around us make us feel and again if something's out of our control we have to try find and find ways to release the hold that it has over our mind so let's go back to master buddha's right after 
So I'm going to come straight into the extended message. It's where I'm feeling guided to go. But it says, you are moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can be more focused on your priorities and what is serving you on this path. All suffering eventually comes to an end and acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way will help you move beyond it. Call on Master Buddha now to help you remember you are part of something that is greater than suffering. The wheel of karma is turning in your favor and all of your acts of kindness and goodness will benefit you. Thoughts may arise now that solve issues in your life, home, relationships, or work. They are being sent to you from your inner teacher, the Buddha within. And that's really important as well, I feel like, just to use your empowered vulnerability. Use your feelings. What do they have to teach you? So let's get some more spiritual advice for November 2021, please. And I am filming on November 11th as well, so I feel like this is a pretty important portal. You have Kuan Yin and Master Jesus came out. So funny enough that that came out. Kuan Yin discusses care and compassion. It says, choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. And you also have Master Jesus with forgiveness. You're on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. For some of you, you definitely could be going through um, kind of healing things that have happened with, you know, your father or father figure within your life. This could even be if you are a parent, like how you father. And if you don't resonate with that part, one thing that's really important to remember is that on this path of love and light, we need to experience grace and give forgiveness. And this forgiveness can be for ourselves, it can be for other people, but if there's something, whatever this is, right, whatever's got a hold in you, whatever this lot on your plate is, when we release what is no longer serving us, when we stop holding on to grudges and hurt, doesn't mean we're going to let the person or the people situation off the hook, but it means that we're going to let it off the hook in our mind because it is not going to plague us anymore. Much like this Buddha one, if we know that we're holding on to some anger and some resentment, and what I heard is it may be making us sick. It may be making us feel really, really crappy. Um, I heard we may be holding this in our joints. I also heard our limbs as well. And there may be a really, really important healing process that either is about to take place or that needs to take place. And what I heard about this is this this is up to you, okay? This is up to you in terms of um, if you allow it. And I think it's also important on choosing to be love. What would love do in each situation? So let's bring more awareness to that as well. If we're going to respond with anger, hostility or hatred, or if someone's doing that to us, what would love do? <laughs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> Sorry guys, remember those bracelets? Um, I'm like 36 and when I was younger, a lot of people wore these what would Jesus do and bracelets. And it is a really good reminder. What would Jesus do? Okay, what would love do? What would Buddha do? What are you going to do? Use your empowered vulnerability. Be careful. I heard be thoughtful, but be caring and wise with yourself and the people around you and to know that your thoughts are valid. And if there's a place where what I heard is they're sending, they're showing me again this offer a helping hand. If there's something happening with you, that you need kind of to get out of your own world you know and you're becoming aware that if you wallow or if you kind of spend too much time you know with idle hands okay that's not a way to put it like i think about devil devon sawa movie idle hands it's like devil hands are the the devil's playground well here offer a hand for some of you you may want to i heard um like volunteer in a soup kitchen. This could be, you know, if you have a family member, a friend, or anybody you know that's kind of struggling right now, cook them dinner, right? Ask them, hey, you want to come over, have dinner with us, me and my family? You know, um, for me, that's always love. That's one way that we spread love. And there's lots of different people, um, different ways that you can do this. For me, I feel like I'm a kitchen witch, okay? <laughs> Part of my witchery is kitchen. And that's where we put the love into things. We put the love into our food. We put the love into each other. This, like literally, because if you cook with love, that love, that energy, you're feeding it to your family. So I think this also go, 
goes with what I heard is language of love. So some of my language of love is acts of service. I'm going to do things for you, cook things for you. If I bake something for you and give it to you, you better believe I probably love you, right? So I think that this is really important just to offer a helping hand to those people that we love. And if we need help, not to be afraid to ask for it, okay? Be like, you know what, yo, I need help here. I'm struggling. I don't know if I can do this alone. I just need an ear. I just need a helping hand. And see who comes to your aid, my friends. So the bottom of the deck, I'm going to flip it over, is white, eagle, ancestor spirit, and missile check was underneath there too with higher learning. You've learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. And this is really important, connecting with our ancestors, much like having Father healing here and having Ascended Master Jesus here, having Buddha here. It's asking you to connect with your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Definitely, if this has to do with a situation in that, what I almost heard is that it could have been like either passed down or it's something that has happened for a really long time. There's inner child healing regarding a family member that needs to happen. This could also be, you know, calling on your ancient loved ones, calling on passed on loved ones for a little extra support here and a little extra guidance. But they're reminding me the last thing, and I'm going to move on to tarot, but is to trust yourself. To trust your inner knowing and to trust your inner guidance because you wouldn't be guiding yourself there if it wasn't meant to be for you, right? So let's get a little tarot wisdom here, guys, and see what messages you have for Capricorn, please. Let's get a little tarot wisdom for Capricorn. Queen of Swords and the Three of... I almost said Three of Hearts, but it's the Three of Swords. Some of you, I feel like, um, are going to be gaining some clarity on past heartbreaks or are going to be gaining clarity on what is hurting right now and is there a way to stop it? For some of you, I feel like with this Queen of Swords, this could be an air sign like a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, both here, both air. But I also think that this is because this is in our head. Whatever it is that is in our head space is causing us to hurt. There's also here, okay, so for some of us, dip and take it how it resonates, it may not be for you, okay? But she's holding somebody's head by the hair. Because the Queen of Swords, I'm a Gemini, my friends, a Queen of Swords, loud and proud, but also at times we can be a little cutting, we can be a little bit um, cold as ice is what I heard as well, but sometimes what I heard is also straight to the point. There may be something here, what I heard is also defensiveness with this head. head. So this is kind of twofold. There here, this head reminds me of in medieval times where they would display the head of a traitor or someone who has wronged the queen, wronged the straight on a spike it's for everyone to see this kind of as a warning. And I feel like this is going, all right, you want to mess with me, come talk to me. But don't forget, last person who did this, the last person who came at me, yo, I ended that shit. So I think this is really important here to also pay attention to our words. Because like I said, I can be a nice queen myself sometimes. And then afterwards, after this shit comes out of my mouth, the regret sets in, right? Like, man, I shouldn't say that. Think how we talk to people, how we speak to ourselves too. This is really important. And this could even do what I heard is come back to father healing is... Um, you know, I'm sure we've all, if we have kids, have caught ourselves sometimes saying something that our parents would have said. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've become my parents, right? Well, pay attention to what you're saying, especially her when you're talking to your children and things like that. We want to be love. We want to say, what would love do? Well, what would love say too, okay? So I do feel like that this heartache and this sorrow is really what it is. That this sorrow is coming to an end if you will allow it, okay? If you will allow the hold on whatever the situation is to take flight and to transform into something else, into knowledge and into wisdom and into experience that going forward you can use these lessons. 
So I definitely feel like, too, like I said, there's a lot going on in your world right now. You have the Princess of Cups in the reverse. This card is all beat up. <laughs> and it's funny, it was brand new. This deck was brand new. And this card and another one got stuck together with water. So this Princess of Cups wants to express their emotions. They want to, I heard, also express their beliefs. And I feel like this Princess of Cups wants to believe in love, wants to believe that there is something out there for them that is going to fill their cups, that's going to make them feel warm and fuzzy. But I do feel like it may not be here yet, and that's why it's in the reverse, because there are some things that we need to get our head around. There are some ways that we've been that may be a little bit more defensive. They're taking me back to this card, the increased awareness. If we catch ourselves getting defensive, rather than continuing on with this defensiveness, it serves us nothing, right? It doesn't do us any good. So, get down to it. Why am I defensive? Did somebody hit a nerve, right? There's also what I heard is a truth. If there's a truth that needs to be expressed, and someone around you or yourself isn't ready to express this truth yet, sometimes when we get somebody asking for this truth or if somebody is speaking their truth, we get, um, oh, hella is the first word I heard. We get like hella standoffish, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Not let me through these walls. For some of you, definitely what I heard is if you wanna get out of this sorrow, you gotta put the walls down and offer love or be love. That's the important thing here too, be love. I feel like that this Princess of Cups, it is the younger version, it's basically the page, because we're still learning. We're still learning what would love do. We're on a lifelong learning journey. Nobody's got it figured out right away. You could also, because I again am being drawn to this lend a helping hand, you could have someone in your world who's going through a lot right now, going through a lot of hardships as well. And this is where it's like, offer your care and compassion. Like I said, cook them a, cook them a meal. Make them brownies. <laughs> make them cupcakes. Make them, you know, I heard lasagna. You know, whatever it is that they like, you know, give it to them and let them know that they're loved. Okay, Spirit, can you tell me anything more? Thank you. So, these cards... There's, I'm going to show you how they fell out, okay? So you have the one, two, three, seven, which of cups, which says illusionary success, and also has to do with Scorpio here. Oops. Jeepers, it's throwing the card. So it's in the reverse, okay? Illusionary success. I do also feel like there's an importance to this, so I will come back to it, but I want to show you the cards first and then kind of get a feel for it. Strength in the reverse. Good to see justice come back in the upright this time. Prudence. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the bottom one here is the Nine of Pentacles. Material gain in the reverse. For some of you, there may be something going on with the law. You might be... Um, in court, I heard battle, okay? For some of you, there could be battle. And this is feeling like it's draining you and it's taking a lot out of you. For others of you, what I heard is you're willing to see past illusions. And the strength in the reverse I heard moment of weakness too. It may be that this strength in the reverse is whatever is happening has worn you down a lot. But there's importance in this vulnerability. It's time to do the right thing is what I heard. It's time to make things right. It's time to tip the scales of justice. So I feel like for some of us, this includes our patterns and if we've like I said earlier right if we said something or done something that is causing us a lot of sorrow now it's time to make it right it's time to say the things we need to say it's time to fess up and own up and apologize 
or this is somebody coming at you who knows they need to do this too. This could, like I said, it could go back to the Father healing. But with this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, until we realize or actuate, I heard the peace, okay, whatever, if this resonates, until what needs to happen happens, you're not going to find the material gain. Thing, you're... So I also heard things are going to get worse. Now, don't don't get worried. It's things are going to get worse if we don't heed this call. If we know, if you know what I'm talking about and it's not you're not ready, take your time. But what I heard is if we don't do it, things are going to get worse. This is kind of like when we procrastinate, and I'm a number one procrastinator, my friends. So I understand. But if we procrastinate on something important, when it is time, so, okay, when it's time for our blessings to come in, if we haven't been doing the work, if we've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, we're going to have to put it off longer because it's not going to come in on time. So I think that this is really important to say, you know, if you've taken a few moments off your journey or if you have um, allowed yourself to kind of get swallowed up by whatever's happening this is where spirit's like uh-uh it's time to remember who you are you're the lion you are strong um there's an importance here too they're showing me i think a snake and the lion and this lion is battle weary okay and there's a snake over here he's still even though he's battle weary going to protect her going to protect him and show his fierceness I think that this goes back to you showing your fierceness, but in a healthy way. So if in the past, some of our patterns or some of our behaviors have been a little toxic, this is where you go, okay, I'm shattering illusions. Because some of these, this illusionary success or this illusionary things, we know that what we put in this cup, the only thing that matters is love. So there's a choice, and I get. I feel like this is you get to choose, right? You get to choose as well whether whatever's burdened you gets to destroy you. Um, and I also heard destroy your life. So for some of you, you definitely could have there. There's no devil energy here, but I, I pick up on addiction, okay? So for some of you, whatever it is, it may be an addiction. There may also be, though, that this is our defensiveness, this again could be um, again a situation where you're you're going through legal stuff, but it doesn't have to ruin us. No matter the decision, we're still going to be here whole and complete and trying to rock and live our best world in life. So I'm gonna get some advice moving forward um, for you from the Earth Magic Oracle. And what came out was strength. Time to exercise that strength, my friends. Strength twice and mountain. Some of you may be climbing them. Some of you, it's time to move them. And as well as I feel like this also has to do with there's a mountain in the background of strength here. I heard there's illusionary strength. So there is the defensive strength that um, I heard catatonic too. But there's the dis defensive strength in us that thinks that our mouth muscle is strength. So if we have a lot to say, if we want to tell someone off, um, things like that. But there's more to it. Because yes, it is important to set boundaries. It is important that if people continue to se step over these boundaries and have no regard for us... It's important to tell them off but there's a way to do it and I feel like this is where it's a learning curve okay what I also heard is you have the roadmap it's your roadmap so the bottom of this deck is the shaman which has ancient healing wisdom and underneath it was the forest and breathe 
get your butts outside, take a walk in nature, breathe in that fresh air. As well as, if we're healing situations from the past, there's a lot here. For some of you as well, I heard you may have Native American roots or Canadian roots or just, if the feather fits, take it. There's also an importance to the placement of the feathers. Um, what I heard is it's important to be brave, but it's important to be wise as well. And for some of us, this bravery, it's letting our vulnerability in. So breathe. And under that was celebration. It's time to celebrate. One more card I want to show you because we have the winter solstice there. And I lied because underneath it is music. Listen to some music that makes you feel good. Take some time to reflect. Heal what you need to heal, my friends. Speak to the people and talk to the people that you need to make peace with, that you need to heal with. And move on in celebration. So that's the message I have. I hope it resonated. Again, if you'd like to let me know, please let me know. Um, I hope it helped. I love you all. Mwah. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.